Hey y'all, this is Joe and Gary. You can see Gary's legs. Uh, <laughs> we're out here at the cabin. We're going to be putting the walls up now. We're going to try to set a couple walls and see how, how it works with this good old Lowe's lumber. Uh, but we got to figure out what we want. We'll see how it works out. Very dangerous thing to do to hold the boards like this. Because that nail, if I shot it and it hit a knot or something and came out, it'd go right through my fingers. So don't do this. Do as I say, not as I do. For the descendants of Archimedes. Give me a fulcrum big enough, I can move the earth. with that <laughs> all right you can see while we're out here building Gail is happy she has her Husqvarna and that's all she cared about because now she wants to mow again Take you back over to here to where we are now. We just had lunch. Gail grilled some brats and everything for us. Uh, use the fire pit over there. But we had three walls up and working on the last wall with the door and the kitchen window in it. And then 
Today's goal will have been accomplished, tomorrow the rope. But I'll let this run for a while uh, while we're working on this wall. Hey y'all, this is Joe and Gail out here at St. Bernard Acres, got to fix some of my insulation there, but our goal today was to get the four outside walls framed, and we got everything packed away while Gail was mowing everything and cooking his lunch on the fire, Gary and I managed to get all four of the walls framed. And, like I said, that was our goal for today. I mean, to have this dried in by the 4th is not going to be that big of a problem. I can't get siding for two weeks. So, we'll decide tonight or tomorrow morning if we want to come out and do the roof tomorrow or wait and do it do the roof next weekend and the uh, siding the following weekend and windows and doors put them in they'll be you know dried in at least so no big rush on it uh, I gotta come out tomorrow I mean, we'll, I'll probably be out here tomorrow regardless doing the top plate and buttoning all this stuff up and uh, I have all my roof rafters. You saw I cut all that stuff last night and brought them up here. So, there's the cabin walls. 
Now that Gail finally made up my mind where she wanted to put it, I can actually accomplish things. Uh, I love it, 12 by 16. And yes, those are eight foot studs with the top plate and bottom plate. We're gonna have eight foot plus <laughs> the, uh, what, four and a half inches because I'm putting a loft inside there with a 4 8 roof or 4 8 12 pitch roof. And I'm going to drop part of the ceiling down to about six and a half feet. And I'm going to have a little sleeping loft up there or storage loft. So that's why I've got the height up there like I do. Plus, like Gail said, everybody's tall except me. Except for Joe. <laughs> uh, I mean, Nick's what, 6'4"? Nick's 6'2", Alex 6'4". Yeah. Gail's 6'8". Uh, <laughs> I wish you would stretch some of this out then. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we didn't realize until we started working on this how short those sheds are. Because uh, remember, we had one of those pre-built sheds that we were going to convert into a house. And now we realize just how small those things really were. Because this is full size and big time difference. So, just to let you know what we got done today. It was very productive and I feel very good about what we got accomplished. Two old guys just out here enjoying ourselves. Uh, last weekend I took a pretty good fall off the ramp going into the bar and wrenched my back up pretty good. And that's still sore, working all week. Uh, and then coming out here, you know, cutting all these raptors last night. and Just general, you know, being fat and 60 years old. It takes longer for the bones to heal. But we're still getting it done. And like I said, there's no hurry on the roof. If we feel like it, we'll come out tomorrow and do it. If not, we'll wait and see what the weather's like next weekend. Because uh, tomorrow's supposed to be in the 90s. So we might blow it off just because of that. But that's the uh, off-grid cabin update here. We're rolling right along. That is all. I'm out.